code blocks are a way of showing code with syntax highlighting in your documents without executing or rendering the code. This is especially important with code that can be rendered or compiled in Obsidian. Let's take HTML for example. I'm going to paste this HTML into this document. So let's undo that and paste it as plain text. So I've got this HTML here and as you can see it's got syntax highlighting but when I click the preview button watch what happens. It renders the document as if this is the output that we want. But suppose we were showing this code to someone, we wouldn't want the, the HTML to render like this because we actually want to see how the HTML is marked up. We don't want it to output or render. So to fix this, we can just take this, I'm going to say control X, and we start a code fence. Now code fences, as I said, are just a way of stopping your code from compiling or rendering, and you can show people your code or make make it easy for you to copy and paste your code into various applications. So we just use this symbol here, which I think is the apostrophe, to make a code fence. So if I finish my code fence like so. This is a basic code fence and I can put text in here as well just to demarcate it for use later for copying and pasting. So copy paste text like so. But suppose we wanted to put this HTML in here, we would have to paste the HTML and you see there's no syntax highlighting. What we want to do is um, tell Obsidian what code it's looking at. So we just type in here HTML and there we go. We have the syntax highlighting for the HTML and it's not rendered out in our Obsidian application.